cafe warning I put up the line and I'm holding metal cup has now been put away by pieces that I don't quite understand. Every evening sparks a battle, giving people, giving paddle, every paddle wants to smack me in the mouth. Between a canyon cradle echo and abandon I no breed of information What I hear is growing bones that acts and sweat performance underneath the print the warn to make a message man or passer from ever getting known I'll sing until then where we all fall down to the drifting sound in the face of me honing it down Sing if you can't speak up and you should get down, but if you don't know how to and over. But and for a day, bros and procreate to keep me alive for so long, or maybe the sunlight is telling the beetle and breed giving seed. Try to die and get it on, or maybe it's all in suspense. Picking on the ping, dripping, dipping over me, get down. The sides are getting less and light and five and bad. And coming out my mind on the rain, the thread of the press, the press. Every decision repeated and counting alive in the foot of the fact of five. Make space, hold, give, try, give, try, try. I'm motion to conscious, respect, and move and expense. Muscle memory, these hearts and minds must prime themselves and confide in the rest. Is a space of removal when existence resents. The spirit lives in here. As all things are made in between, the spirit allows itself clear to life. Maneuver the tongue of our fashion along to the speech to declare the goodbye and relieve oneself between the space and time. Any persistence collide, divide, resistance, but made in the powers of life in the same way. Make the statue Face and belief, it's undeniable now. Out of the passion lanes, to the worth of pain, and the sun's a charm, a call to open arms and in Division to decide what should and what shouldn't come next. I think about the offer and the love of life I mowed to the measures of proof that brought these men and me close. But it stopped me when I'm working and leaning on my toes. And it all begins again. speech, whatever came aloud, a motor has felt a power. I think I love you. The 
talk her down, leave the method now to get completed with precision from the baby and how a session test over the long night just her name she turns it around. Thanks, everyone. So close your eyes and only try to tell me in your head. You're drowning deep in your own atmosphere. You're flying. So close your eyes and only try to tell me in your head. You're drowning deep in your own atmosphere. You're floating around in your head. Some 
that whole song was in drop D? That's why it's called that for sure. Pray for me. I think it's for me. We don't have to. Anyway, uh, that one was called Perfectly Poised for a Moment. It's a song about anxiety. Uh, this one's called Heaven Day. Well, hey, everybody. Ooh, that is warm. That is very warm. That is crispy. That's better. All right. Welcome to The Voice and Pen Live from Waterline Brewing. Happy to be here with you all tonight once again. Yeah, there's going to be some great music coming up tonight. Got a lot of artists here in the house tonight that are playing and a lot that aren't playing. There are a bunch of folks here that are also guitar players and songwriters. Happy to welcome to the stage the first time for the first time at The Voice and Pen, Mr. Matt Goodnight. Nice to meet you. The stage is yours, sir. Shoo. Oh man, look at all these people I know. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. I'm going to start out with a newbie, aka I just wrote it this week. I know 
Got the first one out of the way. I'm sweating. This next song is about uh, feeling alone.
song that's called For You.
Thank you. That song was about 10 years old, 15 years old. It's been a while. So, thanks. This next song is about expectations. Just say hello Just one time A consolation No, I'm fine The conversations That you pass by The dedication Thank you. I got one more if that works. And a sip of beer. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening. Short plug. Go find me on Facebook, Matt Goodnight Music, or Instagram, Matt Goodnight Music. I'll be there. This song. I think I wrote it, I mean, I wrote it probably, I don't know, I started it three years ago, maybe, and then uh, just kind of happened during the last three years, I think I was just feeling frustrated about stuff, so I like to write them out a little bit here, so this song is called You Just Gotta Love. <laughs>
just gotta love You just gotta love I'm pain for you Pain for me Even if we all disagree Friends are not all we should be Brothers and sisters and friends Thank you so much. All right, y'all, that's Mr. Matt Goodnight coming from all over North Carolina, basically. Yeah, give it up one more time for Matt, please. That was awesome. We enjoyed your music. Thank you for coming and sharing your music with us. Thank now, you. we were chatting before the show, before you got on here and started playing your music, that you're from all around North Carolina, but grew up in a little bit in the Beaufort, Moorhead area. Yep. So in thinking about that, when did you start playing guitar? Who were some of your influences? Were they local folks, national folks? What were your, what were your, what were your inputs, man? <laughs> uh, well, I grew up people singing, and it was church singing. And uh, I think I didn't start playing guitar until I was about 20-something. <laughs> and so, but, you know, I, I just kind of put it down, picked up, put it down, picked it up. And so, um, but during that time, there was a lot of church influence. But probably my biggest influencers were all 90s grunge bands. So I was a Stone Temple, Pil Stone Temple Pilots, Pilots <laughs> fan. And uh, Pearl Jam and Smashing Pumpkins and all those guys um, really liked their stuff. And so that's probably what influenced me during that time for sure. I can hear that. I, I think that comes across. I it like probably it. does. Yeah, it, it does. It's cool. It sounds really good. And then, so the other thing that I'm thinking about too is what's your writing style? Like, how does that work for you? Do you write a lot of prose, a lot of poetry? Neither. You just sit down and songs come out. Like, what happens for you? It kind of varies. I think, you know, like uh, that last song, 
I had that chorus for y years, and then uh, it was just a, just a chorus and two chords, and kind of went from there. So I think it, it varies. Uh, sometimes it happens quick. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. The good ones, in my opinion, happen quicker. <laughs> but um, whatever I say is good. And, you know, that's the cool thing. Other people like the ones that took you know forever to write. But um, so yeah, that's kind of my style. I like to I like to start with the chorus usually, and then go from there. Well, that sounds good. Well, thank you for coming here. Thank you for sharing your music with us. Y'all give it up one more time for Matt Goodnight. Got a lot more musical talent coming up here. And thank you for hanging out with us this evening. Now is a great time to go see another Emily behind the bar. Grab another beer. Come back. Sit down. We'll be changing the stage over. We'll be back in about five minutes. Thank you. I'm Aaron Koenig with Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group. At Atlantic Bay, we genuinely care, we inspire growth, and best of all, we have fun. As a proud sponsor of Voice in the Pen, I'm excited to share my commitment to the lending peace of mind in our community and beyond. Feel free to contact me with questions about the current mortgage environment and how I can help you achieve your real estate goals. For more information, visit my website at aaronkoenigmortgage.com. Sponsorship is brought to The Voice in the Pen by Aaron Koenig with Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group, LLC. Atlantic Bay is an equal opportunity lender located at 600 Lynn Haven Parkway, Suite 100, Virginia Beach, Virginia, 23452, NMLS number 72043, nmlsconsumeraccess.org. It's been so long since I held her in my arms. Love starting over. How's everyone doing tonight? Give it up for Matt. <laughs> Matt was awesome. I could tell you were from the 90s. <laughs> I'm so happy to introduce my friend, the beautiful Sarah Brown. So everybody give it up for Sarah. She's very kind, and Emily is awesome. All right, so I have to start playing now. Um, so I'm going to play, the first song I want to play for you is a single I'm going to be putting out on Sunday. It's actually going to be like pop electronic, but I'm playing the acoustic version for you tonight. It's called This Is My Drinking Song, and it's basically making fun of all the other drinking songs. So here you go. Don't drink a lot, that's not true 
give me coffee, give me tea, so I can write a drinking song for you, for you. They want more from me. It's the smarter song, and I don't line up shots, just a few will have to do. This is my drinking song, and I don't line up shots, just a few will have to do. They say, let's have fun, take off our clothes, and get undone. Wake up in the morning with champagne problems, no money in my life. drinking song and I don't line up shot just a few will have to do it's my drinking song and I don't line up shots just a few will have to do a little champagne to celebrate and I might like a cocktail on a nice day but you won't catch me sideways for saying out late this is my drinking song and I don't line up shots just a few will have to do it's my drinking song, and I don't line up shots. Just a few will have to do. It's my drinking song. Just a few. It's my drinking song. Just a few will have to do. It's my drinking song. <laughs> so this next song I just finished writing to. Um, it's called I Don't Want to Fall. It's just about kind of not succumbing to outside circumstances. I think we have a lot of hard things in life, and sometimes it's hard not just to give in and become a part of the bad things that just we're constantly surrounded by. Oh, if I played the right chord, that might help. Brand new song. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. So that's a brand new song. Hopefully I'll record it by the end of the summer and have it out for you guys. This one is a very old song. I probably wrote it like eight years ago. But it's about, it's called Busy Bee. 
and I think you'll get what it's about. Just the other day I was walking downtown, yeah, but I saw your face shining down and you said, wouldn't it be good enough if we could just kiss like two lovers singing in the trees? Life just keeps passing us by. Memories, they fade so fast. And why can I just find a little time for no activity? Sweet honeybee, sweet honey baby. I don't want to be a little fizzy bee, baby. I don't want to be a fizzy bee. Looking up, lots of people I see. Meet and greet, but no one really says hi. Flashing lights, parties on tonight. Crowded room, but no one knows your name. Get your one chance at fame. Cause all I see are human doings. No more human beings. Sweet honey bee. Sweet honey baby. Don't wanna be a little fizzy bee, baby. I don't wanna be a busy bee. Round and round we go. Check that box, get it done. This just ain't a life we're living. No meaning or giving. Sweet honey bee. Sweet honey baby. Don't wanna be a little fizzy bee, baby. Don't wanna be a little fizzy bee. Sweet honey bee. Sweet honey baby. I don't wanna be a fizzy bee, baby. I don't wanna be a fizzy bee. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. If it weren't for you guys, we wouldn't be playing. Um, I'm going to play a song. This is also a really old song. I hope you like it. It's called Time.
one more? Okay. All right, this song, we're going to get a little silly. I like silly, so it's either like silly or serious or is this a song I wrote about my favorite food? Cheeseburgers. It's called a nice cheeseburger. Does anybody else like cheeseburgers? Woo! I'm from Montana. We like meat there. I mean, you just couldn't. I couldn't be vegetarian if I wanted to. They just don't let you. I could really go for a nice cheeseburger, but I should have gone to the store before I see ya. I definitely am an able-bodied food eater, but there's nothing better than the taste of your love on my lips. Give me one more kiss. Ah, yes, please. Ah, yes, please. Spin it round me. I don't really like chocolate or caramel either. Vanilla really doesn't do it for me much, neither. But every time I see your smile, it lights me up like the Sydney Harbor. Oh, it makes me feel like a million dollars. Oh. You make me feel like a million dollars Not into fancy drama Sweet words with nothing behind them I like it when you mean it Oh baby, show me, spin it around me Oh baby, spin it around me What's speaking to me now is you reaching for my hand Stand up for me like a suit of armor Oh, how I like the boys with stripes on the shoulders Give me that attention when I walk in that direction. Don't mind if I do, just give me that affection. Give me that affection. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Give a clap for Emily and CB putting us on. They're hosting, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Sarah Brown, everybody. <laughs> Sarah and I are friends, so I'm just going to take a small moment to just brag about her for a minute. Okay, so she's a woman of many talents. Not only does she play guitar, sing, and write, she also designs her own clothes her own jewelry, and she just is about to graduate with a degree in production and songwriting. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love you. She's awesome. So tell us who some of your inspirations are. Um, I guess I'm not going to lie and say I don't like Taylor Swift, but I do. She's a really amazing songwriter. And I grew up, well, I didn't grow up, I listened to country when I grew up, but I grew up dancing to swing dancing at 40s, 50s, like big bands. So I love like Miles Davis and Ella Fitzgerald and some of that blues kind of, you know, swing music. I love to dance and I like to get up and move and, you know, feel the rhythm. So that's kind of where a lot of my inspiration comes from, the vocals and my life because I, um, I think my life is kind of crazy. So I hope I, other people can relate to my crazy sometime. And other artists I relate to you are, I don't know, I can't think right now. I just totally blanked. I like Selena. I like, nah, sorry, I'm spacing out. I'm going to start rambling. <laughs> <laughs> if you could play with anyone, if you could perform with anyone, dead or alive, who would that be? Selena. Uh, and uh, Taylor Swift, maybe? Taylor Swift. <laughs> Any Swifties out here? I like to shake it off. You know, I like <laughs> to shake my booty. So. We all got to shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a single coming out. Yes. In yes. a week, is it? Sunday. Okay. All fingers crossed. You know, the internet world, you submit, and then they have to approve. So. Okay. And Spotify, Amazon, 
and Apple Music. So if you all have those, I'm going to be, my Instagram is by Sarah B 444 and I'll be posting the link on there so you can buy it. Anyway. Okay. Any gigs coming up this weekend? I'm playing at End of Days Distillery on Saturday night if you want to come out. Okay. All right. Great. Sarah Brown, everybody. Thank you guys so much. I'm Aaron Koenig with Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group. At Atlantic Bay, we genuinely care, we inspire growth, and best of all, we have fun. As a proud sponsor of Voice in the Pen, I'm excited to share my commitment to the lending peace of mind in our community and beyond. Feel free to contact me with questions about the current mortgage environment and how I can help you achieve your real estate goals. For more information, visit my website at aaronkoenigmortgage.com. Sponsorship is brought to The Voice in the Pen by Aaron Koenig with Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group, LLC. Atlantic Bay is an equal opportunity lender right, located right. at 600 Lynn Haven Parkway, Suite 100, Virginia Beach, Virginia 23452, NMLS number 72043, NMLSConsumerAccess.org. Yeah. 9% better on the guitar when I sit, so. so far. We'll do that another time. We had a hundred yesterday, but we're always hopeful for tomorrow. Though all that's left is memory. What to follow? Saying it isn't over. Tell me what to do. I'm holding till you tell me. I'm holding till you tell me true. Here we are. Here we are. Amazing. All right, everybody, more music coming your way. Thank you for being here at Waterline with us this evening. I'm happy to bring to the stage my friend, Bob Hanlon, songwriter, singer, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you for being here, sir. The stage is yours. Thank you, sir. Thank you, CB. Thank you, TK. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Waterline. We've grown up a bit. And I said this last time I played this, but we've grown up a bit in this town. And we can have enough light that the artist can't see. It's like playing in a real place or something. It's really cool. So I have a theme tonight. My, I got my wife Stephanie here tonight, and this is a set of songs in which she was in one way or another the muse. And that varies wildly depending on the song. So the first one that I'm going to play was uh, we were 
we were shopping at nine o'clock at night in Kohl's and some woman was telling her life story to the cashier. And we got back to the car and I told Stephanie to put something on a note. And because she's the guy, right person to say something like that too, I got up the next morning and there's a, um, there's a, a sticky on the, on the, on the monitor and then the song wasn't coming and the song wasn't coming and I was flying home from France on an airplane and Moulin Rouge was on and I said, wait, came home and I wrote the song like an hour so this is that thing where I, I think I like I, I love this song I think people don't like it as much as I do but that's okay <laughs> he was gonna be bad for business I could see that from the start he had a wink and a smile, it'd take your breath away. Seemed like escape was the road to Knoxville, then to Wilmington and the sea. Said he'd die if he had to wait another day. So we decided to leave Arkansas for the life that we had yearned. It was the greatest joy that I had ever known. Just to love and give love in return. Well, the days were long and the miles were hard and the job was such a grind. Seemed like the universe put daggers through his heart. Trapped in a new existence, Maybe the ocean tricked our minds. He said, I don't think coming here was very smart. We should never have left Arkansas for a place that steals your soul. It was the hardest thing I'd ever want to see. Watching him look away from me. Figure out a place that holds your destiny. Spilling to some clerk calls. She doesn't give a whit for me, but I'm trying to tell her things she ought to know. You see, we never should have left Arkansas, because there's one thing that I've learned, and that's the only place you'll ever need to go. It's where your love can give love. In return, thank you very much. Even more guitar in the, the monitor, if you don't mind, my good friend. I think I'm deaf. That's the mic. That's the big problem. So people don't understand this song I'm about to play. I don't play it in front of people very much because people always get the wrong idea, but it's about something extremely important. I wrote it in an airport. I wrote it in Charlotte. There's a lot of airports in these stories. I wrote it in Charlotte Airport because Stephanie and I had a fight right before we left. And I was, and it's supposed to be about commitment and, and standing up to the waves and the storms. But people hear all kinds of scary shit in this song. They think it's misogynist and horrible. And I promise you it is none of those things. So listen carefully. I know that you keep trying, you know it can't be done. You sooner split the rock of ages, you sooner block the sun. And sure you've left me bleeding on the floor. Just rest assured, you've never won. Because I own you, 
Even though you can't be on, I said I'll own you. When you're angry and alone, then I'll defeat you every time. And I know you're never wrong, but I need to tell you, baby, this is your song. This is your song. So go ahead and bring your worst. That's what you always do. I could kill the monsters in your heart, but still demand my due. Then break me into pieces if you want. Then wink and smile and say I'm your smart. Because I own you and all the ways that you can. Choose, I said I own you, and I know you'll never lose, and I defeat you every time. Even though you're never wrong, I need to tell you, baby, this is your song. This is your song, and you won't ever beat you out of me. Because I'm giving you exactly what you need And your tricks, they might have worked on less than one Who won't chase the demons everywhere they run And that's how it needs to be. I said, I own you. That's what set you free, and I'll defeat you every time. And I know you're never wrong. I need to tell you, baby. This is your song. This is your song. This is your song. This is your song. Thank you so much. So I'm going to I'm going to keep the streak going of I just finished this song and I'm going to play it in front of people cuz that's always the best possible idea. Doing it anyway, sorry. This song has been one that I've been wrestling to the ground for years. It's an important song, and it's definitely, uh, I would say that Stephanie essentially co-wrote this song because I was trying to capture an idea about some of the stuff that she goes through. And uh, she wrote me an email back explaining the differences between what I wrote and what she felt. And I just took, what I just took that email and made it into the words because it made so much more sense than anything I had written down. And... Um, you know, y Stephanie's fine, but she struggles with MS. And, uh, you know, I, I have this dream in my head of making this song into something and, and raising $50 on, uh, on Spotify after the first million plays so that I can give it to charity or something. But um, if it's not great yet, I'm not surprised, but I want it to be great. So. <laughs> up crawling through the muck then I'm swimming through the soup how do I navigate through clouds if I'm wearing cement boots and I'm drunk and I'm blinded by the things I never know my iceberg is defined by the parts that never show And there's always music playing, but I never find the song. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And, on. Why am I staring at the ceiling? 
It's another day to wait and see. Oh, they'll tell you when to take your pills. Do they tell you how to be? And I've been waiting for an answer. But it's clear nobody knows. My iceberg is defined by the parts that never show. And there's always music playing and I never find the song and it goes on and 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 I ain't saying I don't want your hand. Sometimes I just don't think you understand. And babe, I know it ain't exactly what we planned. Can we just be I knew almost 72% of the chords. So. That was the hard one, man. I'm, I'm, I'm good now. Okay, so this one's probably, so you can split history into two parts before 2010 and after when people had iPhones, right? Different world now, right? Won't change again until they start putting the chips in, you know, so. So Stephanie was an early opponent of uh, smartphones. And so I wrote this song, I was, I was on a train and I looked down and at the time it was everybody on Facebook, but you could change the lyric to TikTok or Instagram or whatever you like now. But um, it's just people connect to that. I first saw it actually with my nieces and nephews sitting in a living room with laptops talking to each other while they were in the same room with each other. And adults at that point were just confused. But once we got our phones, we were like, oh yeah, you just stare at that thing. Forget the people. Just stare at that thing. Say Stephanie's not a fan. So it's th I, th this is called Stephanie. Th th it's parent. This is called I Lost My Phone, but it's parenthetically Stephanie's song. So. Watching the folks down below Nobody's even talking or even lifting their eyes Facebook's blowing up on every phone Such a 21st century scene It's something that none of us own trying to be alone and so I joined
staring at a phone Something empty touched my soul Downloading goodbye Yellow brick road Waiting to take to the air Bastards bummed me out of first class I left my phone on a chair That day with the Rocky Mountains behind I was shaken completely aware Electric orange against that purple blue sky I felt that impulse to share And though I joined right in with the crowd The second course is better than that. And as I stared at their wonderful sight, thought a picture could make it my own, but because I lost my phone, I felt an empty fill my soul. I think we lost our way somehow. That guide our age Thinking I'm connected While I scroll from page to page Feeling your breath on my chest Nowhere to be And everything's right Silence in here is perfect I smell your scent in the night And then you say Hey, who was that girl We saw last night on that show On the nightstand I can see the glow But I still can't see the light So you stared straight into my eyes said, hey, baby, there's times we just don't need to know. And you took away my phone. And I let you touch my soul. to touch my soul. Thank you. Okay, last one. My songs are pretty short, though. This is the song that I wrote that surprises me that people like it so much. I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, but... It seems to resonate, let's put it that way. This one, this one came to me, I ha I, uh, ironically, I hadn't lost my phone. I was in Vancouver, British Columbia. See, you might, you may, I used to travel for business if I haven't picked up on that. Um, and I picked up my phone and I sang the first line of the chorus of this song into the phone and then brought it home and took a minute to write it. And I was, sup I was supposed to play on, on a bill on in, in, in the fall of 2017, right when Florence hit. And it would have been me, and it would have been like Striking Copper, and David Dixon, who scares the daylights out of me because he's nice and he's unbelievably good. So there's like nothing to dislike about the man, which is really a problem if you're trying to, you know, keep up, right? But I thought I wrote this song, and I practiced it, and I was going to play it there. And that was a songwriter showcase they used to do over at Brooklyn Arts. Some of you people here have seen it or played in it before. And um, never came back, never did that. It's I have a, I have a picture of the bill on my wall that, that the bill that never occurred, but this is the song I wrote for then, so I'm still happy I wrote the song. So it wasn't a total loss. I'm not hearing anything. Ah. <laughs> I 
was messing with a melody in the middle of the day. Heard her in the other room change what I was playing. She said, I wish that you could see what we all see. And that you'd never stop because of me. Touch the world just like she said, and I'll play like no one's listening. Then some show I hope to do arise, and I think I turn the page, and I'll rip through every part of me, try to leave them on stage. But they drink their beers and tell their jokes and ignore me. Someone listening. I want to thank you guys for the privilege of performing. I never, ever, ever one single time take it for granted. Thank you so much. Time for the Inquisition. I don't know the answers to any of the questions, but I like to talk, so uh, this will yeah, go great. That's good. It's good. It's helpful. You know, sometimes people don't like to talk. And oh, then it's yeah, like, I, feel, I do so feel like I'm interrogating. Like I'm like, I'm really sorry. <laughs> you know the rock and ramblin' story, right? Do you know the rock and ramblin' story? I do. So a guy Wait, to Dennis tell the Prince rock and ramblin'? Ra rock and ramblin'. Rock and ramblin', ramblin so yeah. call me rock and ramblin' Bob Hamblin. And, uh, and I thought, there's this guy, Dennis Brinson, who used to live here and used to do the open mic. And he gives, he gives me this nickname. And... Uh, I thought, oh, rock and ramblin' Bob Hanlon. He just did it because the words kind of go together, right? It makes perfect sense. Uh, turns out he did it because I'm either rocking or rambling, and you <laughs> never really know which one's going to happen at any given moment. I thought, okay, yeah. accurate. I have to, I have to go fair on that. I so. mean, he's a pretty great songwriter, so you know he's going to have more than uh, one meaning in that observant. name for you. <laughs> yeah, he's very observant. So it's funny that you bring that up because that open mic up at what is, I don't know, it used to be Locals Tavern. I don't yeah. know what it is now, but it's up like between Judges Road and Harley Road. I've been on and off of stages with you since then. That was the first open mic that I ever played. You were there, Jim Ashley, who's in the house, was there. There were a bunch of people there, and it's it's really Jim interesting to watch how the music world has changed. Yeah, you had long hair then. <laughs> we switched. <laughs> Jim and I traded. Yeah. Um, but how have you seen the music scene in Wilmington change? That's a fabulous question. I love that question. So... It's weird. So when I first moved here, I couldn't figure out where to play. And then we started going to locals. And then we all started going to Golden Compass. And that was a legendary thing because you would sit in that place and 
anything could happen. People who were unbelievably good would just randomly show up, and you didn't know until they started playing or singing that that, that was going to happen, right? Then the pandemic. And I was, I think, I hadn't met Emily before, but I was telling her that um, I knew, I used to know everybody, because everybody would show up there at least once, so you got to meet everybody who played music in this town. And that doesn't, I was thinking this evening that we should make another one, and maybe it should be this. I noticed that you're recruiting hard to get more players to come in here. Well, why can't this be the hub, right? Why can't <laughs> be this the place where people come to meet and the musicians come in and watch? Let's make it so, Bob. I'm thinking, Do you it, know, dude. Come on. All it takes is the will, right? So, anyway. No, I think that's, I mean, that's interesting to me because all the people that you're talking about have all, I think, played the voice in the pen. Because I remember right. specifically one night where it had been pretty quiet for a while, and it was like before the Penguin got behind it and before Hourglass Studios was sponsoring it. Oh, you mean uh, Golden Compass? Yeah, at the Golden yeah. Compass. And then there was one night where in walk Rebecca Todd, Monica Jane Holscher, Striking Copper, J.B. Boxter. I mean, it was like, the, we were all like, what is happening in here right now all of a sudden, and why is our playlist for an open mic suddenly 27 people deep in two song max? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we drove Eric so out of the business with, uh, yeah. with our enthusiasm. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think he <laughs> retired from public life as a result. <laughs> Anyways, well, thank you for coming, sharing your music. Uh, it was my pleasure. Um, you know, we didn't talk much about your influences, maybe because I've thought about them a lot over the years, but... I've heard you cover Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. I hear Bruce Springsteen in your voice. Are there other influences? <laughs> so Amanda wants me to say Meatloaf, but I I don't I like I've said Meatloaf kind of because I like I like songs that are big and have a lot of space in them, and you know it, it, that doesn't always come through when you're sitting alone with a guitar, but you know because I have I have that sort of booming voice, I like I like the idea of some of an operatic surround. So you know it, you don't get to do that when you're playing solo with a guitar, but I I think that's why I. S sound sort of bellowy when I sing sometimes is because in my head the orchestration is in fact there. <laughs> <So> <laughs> well I think we yeah, can all relate to that. Well thank you for coming. And songwriters too, you know, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I can hear all that. Yeah. Jackson Brown. Yeah, and, and then sort of the, you know, Jim Croce and, and Simon and Garfunkel and all that stuff too. It's all in there somewhere. Sweet. Well thank you for being thank here. You. Thank you for sharing uh, your music with us. Y'all give it up for Bob Hanlon, please. <laughs> And now is the appropriate time to go see other Emily behind the bar and grab a beer. And we're going to change the stage over. we got one more group coming up to perform for you, Matt and Ray. We're looking forward to having them up here on the Voice in the Pen stage at Waterline Brewing for the first time ever. So we'll be right back. Thanks. I'm Aaron Koenig with Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group. At Atlantic Bay, we genuinely care, we inspire growth, and best of all, we have fun. As a proud sponsor of Voice in the Pen, I'm excited to share my commitment to the lending peace of mind in our community and beyond. Feel free to contact me with questions about the current mortgage environment and how I can help you achieve your real estate goals. For more information, visit my website at aaronkoenigmortgage.com. Sponsorship is brought to The Voice in the Pen by Aaron Koenig with Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group, LLC. Atlantic Bay is an equal opportunity lender located at 600 Lynn Haven Parkway, Suite 100, Virginia Beach, Virginia 23452, NMLS number 72043, nmlsconsumeraccess.org.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good, it's good to have you burn like doing the guitar sad bastard hour set. <laughs> Don't know how to intro this song at all. So here we are. A bunch of drunks came out of my high school. They think they'd have something to do with me. But as I'm sitting here on this stool, a glass of bourbon gone empty, they might have been better friends at 17. Knowing what we know now, they're on the same team. I don't know what did it when she begged me to quit it. I'm a fool from my own part of town. Well, I don't know what did it when she begged me to quit it. I'm a fool from my own Find a bar to close down. Since we're talking about it, I'll take another round. I once loved a woman who never wore her crown. She took off with her buddy. Don't really see them much around. All right, everybody, welcome back to The Voice in the Pen here at Waterline Brewing. I wanted to chat with you guys for a quick second because you all have been a really awesome audience and I appreciate you listening to the musicians and engaging with them. And I also wanted to point out that at the end of every set, you hear this little ad run over our PA and that's our ad from our first sponsor. So we get sponsored by a mortgage broker named Aaron Koenig and he is, yeah, thank you guys for, give it up for Aaron because he is, putting his money out there to support live local original music here in Wilmington, North Carolina. And so I'm going to say from the stage, if you're, I've worked with him before because I'm also a realtor in another life, but if you are thinking about refinancing your house, which would be a little weird given what's happening with mortgage rates right now, but if you're thinking about buying a house, you should definitely contact Aaron. He's a super stand-up guy. He loves music, and if you're a musician, he's going to be super excited to talk to you. So that being said, I'm really excited to bring to the stage tonight, for the first time at The Voice and Pen, Matt and Ray, my friends from Kukaloris, really, which is another life that I live in a different part of the week, really. But welcome to The Voice and the Pen. The stage is yours. That looks serious. Are we boxing after this? I hope not. Good God. Me too. I'm like, I'm worried about this, man. Hey, Y'all, thank you for being here. Thank you, CB. CB is, uh, CB is uh, uh, kind of the, uh, the uh, spinal column of Kukaloris right now in a lot of ways. I haven't, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. Here's a song about, um, here's a song about being the MC of Kukaloris. But it's also a song about, um, I don't know, just being friendly. I want to be the icing on your cake. I want to give you the impetus to bake. Under the lights, my eyes are filled with cakes and pies. You delight me, sweet. 
queen that's gonna night me out. Pull me out the gloomy lane. I wanna be the icing on your cake. I want to be the curve in your smile. I want my style to appreciate you. Thank you very much. I highly recommend getting married to a banjo player who is awesome and a beautiful singer and a beautiful woman. Even if you have, even if you have to join an Irish band to do it, it's worth it. Here's a song about some beer. Actually, I can, I can tell this whole story. I was at work one day. I was just sitting on the floor at work, like you do sometimes when you're trying to hide. And it was a secret underground laboratory. This is a true story. I was, I was sitting on the floor in a secret underground laboratory, and I was looking around me, and there was like all these boxes and these shelves full of experiments and shit. And, uh, there was all these weird smears on the wall, like paw prints, but they were these brown smudges. And I was like, that ain't right. And there was this guy rummaging around in this secret underground laboratory. And he was moving boxes around. And he moved these boxes in the corner. I think he was looking for a way to get out. But he moved these boxes away from a corner. And there was this monkey sitting on the floor in the corner of the secret underground laboratory. And the monkey looked up at the dude and said, you're not my mommy. And he jumped the dude and started beating the hell out of him. Started beating the crap out of him. Uh, and he's like tackled the dude to the floor and he's beating him, beating him, beating him. And this woman that had broken into the secret underground laboratory with this dude, she somehow got separated from him, but she found him, found him sitting on the, she, she like pried this door open, this big glass sliding door. She pried it open. All these alarms started going off and this flag, flashing yellow light started going. And, and the, the dude is like, shoot it, shoot the monkey! And she jammed her Glock 9mm in through like the stitches of the door she opened. Blam, 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 blam! And then the director yelled, cut. <laughs> and I hit the switch that I was holding and the flashing yellow light went off. 
I thought, well, another day at the office, yeah. And then I got home, and I opened the refrigerator, and there, gleaming up at me, was a 12-pack of Pabst Blue Ribbon. And this is a song about that 12-pack. Just got home from work, been working hard, ain't settled down because I was too tired. Then I smile because I see all the love you're giving when I open up the fridge and find 12 can of past the ribbon. Thought my day had reached its peak when the gun went off nine mil six blasts. When the monkey attacked and started to speak, then I got home to a 12 can of past. And the day might chew me up, but there ain't no special bite like a past the can of cup. Thank you. Waterline, if you're listening, I'll take commissions. <laughs> I promise to have a spiritual experience I can relate while drinking your beer. It's a pretty easy promise to, to keep, I think. Uh, here's a song. I love how everybody's gotten up here and talked about their songs before they sang them, and people listen, and people like give a shit. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I love how everybody is so willing to, to just to, to share themselves and be vulnerable. I love it. And thank you all for being such a cool crowd. Here's a song I wrote as a Christmas present to some friends in college. Because... The most special, the most special thing, and I love that. I love Bob's song about phones and everybody just being separate in the same room with their phones. This is a song that probably, well, it could be written today. I think people are getting better at it, but yeah, I hear you, man. It's a scene sublime if I ever saw one Seeing these 
kisses of my heart Relaxing on the sofa and the floor Sipping coffee after dinner Maybe run a movie Maybe from the store Or from the sand Not down the street And we're a happy kind of sitting down Toasting cozy thoughts of how The niceties of life We build ourselves on free They glow from in our bodies Make a blanket for the room Tuck us in for an afternoon Evening uh, with a homemade way to be. Meow. Skip it, skip it. Your breath of air than they get while bottled in the back room. Hidden from the stare of gaping strangers, strange that they should care, but we care. <laughs> That's how we're here in the living room. That's how we're here in the living room. Thank you much. This is super. This has been super fun. This has been very exciting. We hope to get out and play more uh, in the world. Um, and this is important for that reason for a lot of people. Thank you, CB, and thank you, Emily, uh, and everybody else who has a part in putting this together. TK. Yeah. All right, here's a song um, I wrote uh, as kind of a title track to a feature I made uh, that I played all the parts in. Um, and so I was feeling a little bit of a split personality. But my wife prefers to call this song Pretty Petals. I like that better. She does it with a lot of things. There's gotta be more in me Pretty petals just starting to peek Treasure I find buried inside me Hear what's true, I love you Stretch my heart Stop, we're only on one. I go to three. There's gotta be.
Thank you very much. We got enough for one more if we want. Okay. Here's one about a trip I took to New Orleans. Met up with um, some very friendly ladies. They were very friendly. There were four of them. And I rode in the back of their Jeep until um, suddenly there were, the, the money was gone from my wallet. It was so strange. But they left me very gently on a, a bench on Canal Street around 6 a.m. Sorry, this, this isn't the song. I should have told you that story while I was tuning. This is, this is what's so great about these events is because we get to polish in front of you. Well, I went looking for the marrow to find my very bones. My escape was sweet and narrow. First time in a while I felt that alone. A big easy can be a difficult place for a small town man with big time dreams. Don't you wish faith in fellow man could be exactly what it seems? When out drinking, wasn't thinking about the who, the what, the when, the where. Now I start to wonder if the place I want to go even there and a little gentle violence on my soul fleshes out my eyes and I start to see the beauty and the blood of this here ragged paradise and I pine for the real world even though it Fake. So I'm prone to choke on something soft and any day now I'm liable to make my fatal mistake Cause like I said, small town man And like I said, big time dreams Love for home is something that I found Waking up on the streets of New Orleans Went out drinking Wasn't thinking about the who The what, the when, the where Now I start to wonder if the place I want to go is even there and a little gentle violence on my soul fleshes out my eyes and I start to see the beauty and the blood of this here ragged paradise and I pine Any day now, I'm liable to make my fatal mistake. Cause, like I said, small town man, 
like I said, big time dreams. And love for home is something that I found. Waking up on the streets of New Orleans. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I've been to New Orleans and it ended sort of like that once in a way. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> Once is enough. Once is uh, that's exactly right. Then you learn. Yeah, I don't. When I go to New Orleans now, I do. I, I take one celebratory stroll down Bourbon Street. Usually not at a weird time of day. Usually, you know, just just enough weirdness, and then the rest of the time I try and avoid that part of town because of said experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a maturity or something growing up. So, tell me, you like? I love that you play baritone guitar. I think that's the first baritone guitar, and definitely the first baritone and banjo that we've had on the stage at the same time. W did you Have you always played that, or did you switch over from a, a, normal, I, a regular guitar? I played a regular guitar for a long, long time, and then uh, I talked about getting a baritone for a few years, and my wife got sick of me talking about it. She got me one for my birthday. Happy birthday to you. And it changed <laughs> my life. Well, I like like a lot of things. So... What informs your writing? I mean, you're a super creative dude. You're a filmmaker. You do set work. You write music. You do a lot of different things. But what is your process? Do you just write all the time? Because I think you're also a poet and maybe an author as well. So you get a lot of light writing in your life. I like to share the beauty that I see in the world. Okay. Uh, Four ladies in a, in a Jeep. <laughs> uh, well, and, and not always, you know, beauty comes in many forms. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> In, in listening to that song, particularly about New Orleans, TK and I had a little bit of a bet going about whether or not you've ever listened to a songwriter named Unknown Henson. No. If you haven't, you will uh. like him. You should definitely listen to him because it sounds like you went on a trip to New Orleans with him. Okay. <laughs> Ray, tell us about your music as well. Like, you're a banjo player. You've been doing this for a minute. I love your picking. It's beautiful. Oh. I like it. It sounds cool. It's a really cool sound. So do you write also? Do you do lyrics at all? All music? No, I, I don't do any lyrics, but, you know. We'll, we'll talk to you about that next year. <laughs> she got a lot of music in her, though. She got a lot of music. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So, and the last question I have for you in terms of your writing, have you all, are you all co-writing at all or, like, collaborating? Uh, obviously collaborating on the, like, structure of the songs, how you're going to present the songs and that sort of thing, but... Mm, no. <laughs> That's a very fair answer. <laughs> well, he's, wrote a, he's, he's written a few songs for me, so uh, can I count as a muse on one? That's right. <laughs> That's right. She's definitely the muse on the how I play all of them now. They're, even <laughs> the ones that I wrote, I told her. You know, there's I got a ton of songs about various experiences I've had in my life, and, and all the good ones about women are about her now. <laughs> awesome. Well, y'all give it up one more time for Matt and Ray, please. Thank y'all for being here, sharing your music with us. And before we all exit the stage and start breaking stuff down, I want to share with you all that this is what we're all about. It's we're striving to bring new original music to you all here in Wilmington, North Carolina. So I want to ask you to consider doing one of three or four things. Number one, follow the artists on their social media. Go listen to their music, download their stuff. There are a lot of people in here in this room tonight that didn't perform that are songwriters. I'm looking out and I see all these familiar faces. Right, so go listen to them, follow them, listen to the music. The second thing that you can do is show up because it feels really good when you're a musician and you have a crowd like this that is interactive with you and listens to what you're doing. So y'all please keep coming out to The Voice and Pen. Next week we will not be here. We're here once a month. We'll be at Mad Cats next week. So if you can, it's a little shorter drive if you drove all the way up here from Carolina Beach to get to Mad Cats than it is to come all the way here. I see some people that came from Carolina Beach. And then the third thing I'd ask you to do 
is like I mentioned before, we just signed on our first sponsor that's a marketing and advertising sponsor. So we shoot sponsor video and record sponsor reels for people. If you or anyone you know has a business that wants to support live original music in Wilmington, please have them reach out to The Voice and the Pen on one of our social media platforms. We are actively looking for sponsors to keep supporting us being able to do this. And thank you all so much for being an amazing and awesome audience tonight. This is super fun for everybody in the room, I think. And I'm going to encourage you to get one more beer from Emily, and then I'm going to quit flapping my gums and start taking the stage apart. Thank you, guys. Yeah.